injection. All right. The defendant is ordered to the custody of care for transport to the Lorraine Correctional Institution for evaluation as to transfer to the Lorraine Correctional Institution. Now, now, now. Please, please, please. I'm trying to own multiple businesses. Driving the latest business. Heaven only knows I'm a witness. And the profit gon' come tremendous. I'm trying to own multiple businesses. Driving the latest businesses. Heaven only knows I'm a What's up? What's good? It's your favorite guy on your favorite show. You know who it is, Zillionaire. You're new to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You heard me? Shout out to Zillionaire Nation. Now, what kills me about this society? We have a bunch of young men and women who are very undisciplined. You know, comes from being raised by single mother homes and no fathers in the house. Okay, no fathers to, to bring discipline uh, uh, self-awareness, uh, uh, no father to, to establish morals and dignity. So this, this young generation is wild and out of control. These so-called thugs are so emotional. They hide behind their guns. They don't know how to handle real life situations. This young man right here got sentenced to two years and he starts crying like a sissy. <laughs> He starts acting like a sissy. And all you hear in the courtroom is women. Man, please. These dudes want to act like thugs. See, when you go to prison, it ain't no guns in prison. <laughs> when you go to prison, you got to, you got to be a man. You know, and that's what they the biggest fear of these young men are, is being a man, is owning up to responsibility, to facing life without a gun. It's hard for them to, to, to handle life without carrying a gun and using a gun. They don't know what to do, okay? They just do not what, know what to do without that gun. And when reality hits and they get sentenced, now you want to cry. Now you're begging the judge. Now you're looking back at your mama, looking at his mama after he gets sentenced. <laughs> Nobody trying to hear all that, bro. You want to act like a thug. You want to be a thug. You want to live the thug life. Prison or death are the consequences of it. It's no way around it. Prison or consequences is for trying to be a thug. That's the consequence of trying to be a thug. Prison or death. Period. It's no, it's no, it's no in between. It's no in between, man. So all that crime, bro, all that, you know, don't want to hear that. Now, now you got to be a man. Now, now, now you got to go in there with some men. <laughs> Been in there 15, 20 years, you know, and he going there. He's fragile and this and that. <laughs> You're going to be sure going there like that. If you want to, bro, <laughs> you're going to be a little punk. And usually reality usually exposes these these guys for the punks. They really are. These guys out here robbing, stealing, beating up women, uh, beating women up disrespecting their parents, disrespecting authority, shooting every chance they get, wake up in the morning just to shoot somebody because shooting a gun makes them feel powerful. They feel powerless without a gun. They're scared. They're little cowards. They're little boys without their guns. And now he has to face reality. I want you to watch this video. And um, I think it's hilarious. I'm I really think it's funny because <laughs> you want to be a thug? <laughs> But you skill, but you're scared to do thug time, ain't you? You want to act like a thug. Now you gotta really be a thug when you go to prison, and you might as well cut all the crying out now. And your mother in the background crying. She just need to shut up. All right, she just need to shut up. Go to jail, face your time like a man. You want to be a thug? There you have it. Check this out. Your burden on government resources. Now, it is ordered then that on the felony of the second degree, and because this is the defendant's first uh, felony conviction and he's 19 years old and has made some progress since um, this offense occurred, that the defendant shall serve a term of two years in prison on the sole count that he pled guilty to. Now, as part of your sentence, you are subject to time to release from prison to a period of post-release control to be supervised by the adult parole authority. This is mandatory and is for a period of three years. If you would fail to meet the terms and conditions of post-release control supervision imposed on you, then the adult parole authority can modify and or extend your supervision and make it more restrictive, incarcerate you for up to one half of the original sentence imposed by the court, charge you with a new offense called escape, another felony where you would face additional prison time, and 
If you commit a new crime while on post-release control, you can face the maximum penalties under the law for the new crime committed. And uh, I'm not imposing a fine, but I am ordering that you pay court costs, and credit will be granted for all days spent in custody in this case prior to sentencing, uh, together with all future custody days while the defendant awaits transportation. Six days. You'll be given credit for six days. Mr. Gallagher, anything further? No, Mr. Schlackett, anything further? No, thank you, Judge. All right, the defendant is ordered to the custody of chair for transport to the Lorraine Correctional Institution for evaluation as to transfer to the Correctional no. Facility. Now, now, now. Yes. Please, please, please.